One of the most common questions we get asked here at Laser is how do I test the back of my headlight to find out if my vehicle has got 12 volts on the high beam trigger wire. Today what I'm going to do is show you on the Mini here exactly what you need to be doing to find out if your vehicle has got 12 volts on the back of the headlight. But first, let me take you over to the bench and I'll show you the tools that you'll need to complete this task. Okay, so we're over on the bench and this is the tool that we're going to be using for measuring our high beam trigger wire. It is a digital multimeter and they can be picked up online for as little as 10 pounds or 10 euros, depending on where you are. Uh, we're going to be using the black probe here. This will be going into the negative side of the battery to be used as a ground. And then we will turn the higher beam on on the mini and then the wires at the back of the headlight will be testing with our red probe here. Uh, we'll be looking for a wire that goes to 12 volts uh, when the higher beam is on and then when we turn the higher beam off uh, it should drop down to zero or as close to. So what I'm going to do now is I'll take you guys over to the Mini and I'll show you how we test for the high beam trigger wire. Okay guys, we're underneath the bonnet of the Mini now. You see I've got my digital multimeter in place. I've put the black probe on the negative side of the battery. The high beam uh, is currently on on the vehicle. So I've got my headlamp plug here with the wires showing. I'm going to take the red probe and just pop it into one of the wires and see if we have any voltage. You can see that we've got voltage on this wire. So if I now go and turn the high beam off, we can see that this wire has still got voltage going to it. So that says that that is not the correct wire. So what we'll do is we'll take the probe out, we'll go and turn the high beam back on, and then we will move on to the next wire and see if there's any voltage on that. We can see that there is voltage on this one with the high beam on, so if I now go again and turn the high beam off. Okay, so you can see now that the voltage has dropped down. So this is the wire that we are looking for. This is our high beam trigger wire on the back of the headlights. So what that means is that with our laser harness, um, we can connect the purple wire on the laser harness to this wire, and that will make sure that the relay turns on every time we turn the high beam on. So there we go, it's not exactly a hard process, you just need to make sure that you've got yourself a digital multimeter and you've got good access to the back of the headlights. Hope you guys found this video informative, please check out our other videos on YouTube, check us out on Facebook and also keep up to date with us on Instagram. Thank you very much for watching.